Welcome back everyone. As we all know, the Lakers have yet to make a move in free agency. Neither with a free agent addition, nor with them making a trade. And at this point, there are not many remaining options for them left. However, that does not mean there are none of them left. I mean, pretty close if you're talking about the current free agent market, but there are still plenty of good trade targets. And although I don't find a trade very likely to happen for them, there is one that I would like for them to take a look at, which could realistically happen given the team they would be trading with. But before we get too far into it, don't forget to check out G2A.com for the best deals in your favorite games, credits, and everything digital entertainment. You can check them out in the video description down below. But now getting back to our topic, and like I referred to before, there are a few good options remaining for them, a majority of which are with rebuilding teams, much like a team like the Brooklyn Nets. Following them trading Mikhail Bridges, they finally appear to be entering a full rebuild. They were in denial of it for a bit there, but they have now accepted it as part of their future. Though they got some more work to do before they can enter a full rebuild, as they currently have way too many veteran players in their team remaining. Even after trading Bridges, they have multiple vets in their team, including guys like former Laker Dennis Shooter, Boyan Bogdanovich, Ben Simmons, Dorian Finney-Smith, and Cam Johnson, a majority of which would help them win too many games, aka something a rebuilding team does not want to do. And if they hope to have a top 5 draft pick next summer, then they will have to move on for a majority of them, if not all of them. And in my opinion, two or three of them would be great fits for a team like the Lakers. We already know Dennis Schroeder would fit well, and I think that Cam Johnson, along with Dorian Finney-Smith would as well. In fact, they might be two of the best and most realistic trade targets left for the Lakers. I know people like to hop on the trade machine and make a trade work for Steph Curry, and especially after watching the Olympics, but let's be real here, that is not happening. And if we're being honest, a trade in general will take some luck for them at this point. But again, I think a trade with Brooklyn will be as close to realistic as it could get for them. They really check all the boxes in my opinion. They are trying to enter a full rebuild, or at least should be anyway. They have veteran role players that would fit well with their team, and then they are not overly pricey and that's really what they should be looking for here in my opinion. Now, maybe they could circle back on a trade for Dennis Shooter, but I think the real target here should be Cam Johnson, and then potentially Dorian Finney-Smith with him, both of which are legit 3 and D wings, aka the kind of player that you want around LeBron and Anthony Davis. And simply put, the Lakers have none of them right now that are proven. I mean, the closest they have to one would probably have to be 21-year-old Max Christie, who might be able to fill that role for them. But neither we nor they know that for sure quite yet, as they have not even given him the opportunity to show it up until this point. And with that being said, I would call that their number one need right now. Like we have talked about on multiple different occasions, they simply have too many one-way players in their team. Apart from AD, LeBron when he wants to be, and then maybe Max Christie, they literally have an entire team full of them. Now even with them they have proven to be pretty good, as thankfully many of them are really good on one end of the court, but I really think they would benefit from a better balance, which would involve turning a few of their one-way players into two-way players, and I think that Cam Johnson and Dorian Finney-Smith would qualify. But beginning with Cam Johnson, there is no question about his ability as a 3 and D player, especially if you're talking about the 3 point shooting part, with him truly being an elite 3 point shooting role player. I mean, we're talking about a 39.2% career 3-point shooter, and not to mention a 44% corner 3-point shooter, and you are not going to find much better than that, especially now with a guy that is very likely available right now. But that's only one part of his game, definitely the best part in my opinion, but he can do plenty of other things on the court too, being an underrated scoring option when given the opportunity, an underrated passer, and a pretty good defender. After all, the guys put up 13.5 points per game and only about 27 minutes per game during the past 3 years now. Or in other words, over 18 points for 36 minutes. Not too shabby, and especially not for a guy that is not really known for his scoring ability. In that regard, he would fill the scoring option role that Kyle Kuzma used to fill for them back in the day. Only Cam Johnson would do it a whole lot better, as again, he is actually a reliable 3 point shooter and of his 6.2 attempts per game from 3, 4.8 of them were of the catch and shoot variety, to which he knocked down 42.1% of. In my opinion, you are looking at a literal perfect fit for them offensively, a guy that never needs to touch the ball to be effective, but then at the same time, he can create his own shot if they need him to, and then for the cherry on top, he can actually be a good defender as well. Now I would not call him a great defender, but he definitely can be a good one. He is big enough to match up with bigger wings, but also quick enough to keep up with a majority of guards, 
making him fairly switchable on defense, something they could definitely use more of. And given that they would likely be trading Rui Hachimura to get him, you gotta be getting a bigger wing that can be viewed as an upgrade from him. And in my opinion, Cam Johnson definitely would be. He is the better 3-point shooter when you factor in shot difficulty and 3-point shooting volume, the better defender, and the better fit with LeBron and Anthony Davis. I don't know about you guys, but I would be completely on board with trading for him alone. Though I have seen many wanting Dorian Finney-Smith be included with him, which theoretically could be a possibility, though it would mean giving up both of D'Lo and Hachimura, or giving up Jared Vanderbilt with one of them, and I'm not entirely sure that would be worth it. Again, I think we often forget to make the money work. We're not playing NBA 2K here after all, you gotta make the trade work financially for it to be able to work. And with the Lakers now being a first apron team, they are no longer allowed to take back any money through a trade at all. Now you might be okay with doing that, and if you are, then this would be what it would look like. Either D'Lo and Hachimura for Cam Johnson and Dorian Finney-Smith, which I don't think would take much of any draft compensation, or trading one of D'Lo or Hachimura, along with Gabe Vincent and Jared Vanderbilt. And I think the only argument I would listen to here would be the two-way one again. I mean, they theoretically would be trading two or three one-way players for a couple of two-way players. And I guess if you're looking at it that way, then it might be a good way to balance out their team. I like all four of them, or at least when they're healthy, but every one of D'Lo, Hachimura, Vanderbilt, and Vincent were one-way players to them last season. And the only one between them that has shown the ability to be a two-way player is Gabe Vincent, the one that literally has zero trade value right now at all. And with that in mind, I think I would have to pass up on including Dorian Finney-Smith with him, who might be trending toward becoming a one-way player anyways. Now I think he would shoot better on a better team, but he does happen to be declining on defense. And now at 31 years old, I cannot imagine he'll be getting much of any better. Now I might be interested in trading for him by himself, which might be a better option later on at the trade deadline, but I'm not really a fan of including him and Cam Johnson together. As simply put, it would take too many contracts to make work, and they really don't have the contracts to make it work. But again, I definitely would be in favor of a deal for Cam Johnson. I think he would be a near perfect fit for their team, not only on offense, but even on defense too. And he might be the only available player that I can truly say that about right now, and definitely the only wing player. I mean, he would instantly become their best 3-point shooter if they would trade D'Angelo Russell for him, would be one of their best perimeter defenders, and then might be their only true 3 and D player, which is pretty embarrassing on a team that is LeBron and Anthony Davis if you ask me. I keep on going back to it, but that to me is the fatal flaw of this team. They have plenty of talent, but not nearly enough 2-way talent. And at the end of the day, that is the kind of player that gets you the furthest in the modern NBA. But with all of that being said, what do you guys think? How would you feel about a trade for Cam Johnson, Dorian Finney-Smith, or maybe both of them together? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video, and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and hit that notification bell to never miss out when I upload a video. But as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.